We're here with Ron Gilbert for the Sundance series Pineapple. He plays the lead protagonist. For people who don't know anything about Pineapple, give us a little rundown, maybe a tagline. Well, it's uh, about a t-shirt that has a pineapple on it. And that's the way they got the name of the film. Oh, okay. Because this young girl, something happens to her and all she remembers is pineapple. Sorry. I'm sorry. So I didn't, the t-shirt, that's interesting. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what's yeah. so weird about the thing. I'm not gonna. We're good. I'm glad about my high, shoe, my high heels today. These are actually motorcycle boots, but they're perfect for here. Oh, those are, oh, those are nice. Like great, yeah, yeah, those yeah. are heavy duty. <laughs> well, in, the Santa, in Santa Monica, we have a great place called the Salvation Army. She will not go there. I love the Salvation Army. You cannot believe uh, these were brand new. I mean, I'm sorry, okay. rambling. <laughs> ramble, ramble. Hey folks, we're here with Ron Gilbert today here for the Pineapple Sundance series. And you play the lead protagonist. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, the show for people who have never seen it before. Well, um, this is very interesting. It was an a Girls in the AFI project. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an HBO Project Greenlight thing, and um, I didn't know what it was going to be. And um, the reason pineapple is this young girl has an incident, and all she can remember is pineapple. Mm. And people don't know what that is, but mm, should I really tell everybody what that is? No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> anyway, I'm the mining foreman, and everybody hates me. And uh, they hate me so much that I have this pet pig called Daisy. Okay. And I. We have to take a moment to deal with Daisy because Daisy's not with us anymore. They uh, did something very bad. That's what got me the job because I'm this really crazy, aggressive <laughs> guy, and I had a very emotional scene with my, my pet pig. Okay. But uh, but the, the the it's a fascinating project. I mean, she shot up in Coulterville, the old mining town. Right. And something happens to this girl. Something happened. That's the opening of the film. Right. And then it kind of goes into what's going on in the town. Okay. And there are a lot of real people. It was to be a big mining town years ago. And um, there's only 100 people who live there now. Wow. And where was and this shot then? At Coulterville. It's the, the negative side of Yosemite. Okay. Like, because they have a bridge there that buses don't want to go over. Wow. And it's really remote. So have you done a role like this before then? Or? Um, well, I, mining foreman, I play, I play mafia guys, but I've never done a mining foreman. But he's... He's from a different world. Um, you know, I, I don't know because it's been kind of a crazy year. I was talking to my daughter. I play a guy who's the devil, but he's dressed in a business, in wonderful tuxedo. Mm -hmm. And then I play, I mean, I play different characters because I think the advantage is when, as you get older and you're still alive, the competition becomes less because the stars, you know, they, they just were beautiful at one time and they're not anymore. And I'm still beautiful. Yeah, I was I'm gonna say picture. you're still beautiful. <laughs> you no, I'm like a wacko because I work out. You're I'm aging like, what? like fine wine. Yeah, I know. It's, well, it's my beautiful. daughter is following in the footsteps. But uh, you know, it's really. I just was very amazed at what happened with it, and it's really to be picked up. You know, before the festival That's opens. That's incredible. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, not me. I mean, it's the wonderful director, yeah. female director. Oh. I prefer working with females. Because I had a good mother, great sisters. No, I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't have any. I just think women, because they have all these qualities, plus the love, and you know, who cares? I mean, I'm, yeah. I, and they're easy to work with. When you work with guys, all they want to just talk about getting drunk or, oh, look at her, you know. But women, you, you finish a shot, you can walk over, you can hug her. That's wonderful. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of men you can hug too. Oh, yeah, I have I've <laughs> quite a few. I mean, I work, you know, Brian Singer, I worked with uh, years ago in Usual Suspects. He loves to hug. Oh, does but he? But I'm not really his type, oh, but okay. he still loves to hug me. <laughs> Wonderful. So where can we find out more about Pineapple? When can we see it? Well, it's it's going to play tonight. Okay. Um, I think at Prospect. Uh, you said 1130, 1130 right? 11.30, and then okay. it's going to play again on Tuesday Wonderful. at 930 for those who don't like to see films too late. Well, because it was already picked up, it means it's gonna, it's already great, we it's know really that. Great. So we all need to go watch it. Yes. Any last plugs for you? Where can we find out more about Ron Gilbert? Well, I mean, well, there's a crazy Smirnoff commercial <laughs> <laughs> that it's called, it's called Monster Mule, and I play this regular in a club. My daughter loves this 
crazy Great Gatsby um, okay. suit that I have. And there's other stuff that's running around, Courier X and, you know, other stuff looking for distribution. But, uh, you know, well, then we do a little series called um, Mama Luke. Mama Luke is, um, I should send you the link. It's about a, an Italian mobster comedy. Another mobster. No, but it's comedy. Oh, comedy. And we have a guy, We the last episode we did was the best impersonator of Elvis Presley. Wonderful. So for Mama Luke, for Pineapple, for anything else that Ron okay, Gilbert has yeah. going on, you definitely need to look this guy up because he's, he's, oh, a, he's so a fun much. character. He's aging like fine wine. I he's know, quite fine wine. beautiful. <laughs> Check out more interviews on Film Buzz.